I'm Fleet Master Chief Raymond Kemp. I am the Master Chief Petty Officer of Europe and Africa, and it is the pleasure of my life to be a Chief Petty Officer in the world's finest Navy. To the command senior enlisted leaders and every leadership and management team, uh, what a pleasure it is to be here uh, and talking to you about what is important to our Navy. It's actually important to the entire defense team. See, Secretary Defense Mattis has called upon us to be a more lethal and deployable force. So as we create and build and live on in this agile, mobile, hostile force, it is important that we, the Chiefs Mess, calibrate our magnetic north. It is important that we are all looking in the same direction and fighting towards the same goal, clarifying the expectations of a chief. And by the way, those expectations are laid out in the CPO Creed. In fact, the CPO Creed reminds us in the very beginning, during the course of this day, and it's not talking about just the day you got advanced, it's talking about today, that challenge that you faced. During the course of this day, you have been caused to humbly accept challenge and face adversity. This you have accomplished with a rare good grace. That's an expectation, Chief, that you are willing and able to overcome those challenges that you face today, and then you must live that out. You should be the example for your sailors, peers, subordinates, and seniors when it comes down to overcoming challenges and adversity. Let's continue to do that. Look towards the creed. Print that CPO creed out if you haven't seen it in a while. Put it on your desk and read it every day and watch how those expectations jump off the pages at you. Even in the creed, it reminds us further that it was necessary to meet these hurdles with blind faith and fellowship of chief petty officers, which means that together we are able to overcome all things. Together we are able to do all things. There's 30,000 of us. There's, there's nothing in the world that I can't do. I can give the world to you if you want me to. I can do anything because I can reach out to my brothers, my sisters, my fellow chiefs, senior chiefs and master chiefs in the mess, and we can accomplish it all. Further in the creed, uh, you'll read, and, and I mean you'll read because I know you're gonna print it out and keep it on your desk. You're gonna put it someplace where you can be reminded every day. It says, it is now required that you be the fountain of wisdom, the ambassador of goodwill, the authority in personal relations, as well as technical applications. We must be the rating experts. We must not only be the rating expert, but teach our sailors uh, to seek after knowledge so that they too can be better. And to be the fountain of wisdom, think back to when you used to ask the chief when you were younger. Think back to being that seaman, that airman, that fireman, and you asked the chief, and the information that was provided to you was so reliable. It was like a combat systems technician looking in CSOS. Uh, it was like an engineer looking in EOS before lighting off. It was like a sailor on board the ship looking into the storm. That information was absolutely relevant, trustworthy, and valid. We've got to bring that back. Even in this technologically advanced world where everyone has access to the internet, we, the Chiefs Mess, we must bring back the reverence that is looked upon these gold fouled anchors with silver USN superimposed on it must be renewed by your commitment and your dedication to not only be what right looks like, but for your word to be trustworthy, your word to be one that is absolutely known good. As you affix these anchors on your uniform every day, these anchors should exude the pillars of watch standing, the formality, the forceful watch team backup, the uh, procedural compliance, uh, integrity, questioning attitude, and level of knowledge. Each and every day as you are making your way out, the expectation of yourself, of yourself and your fellow chiefs, the expectations of your subordinates or your, your, your seniors ought to be that a chief shall strive to be a visible, confidently humble deck plate leader, more uh, authentic and more competent and more courageous and able to lead our Navy forward. 
We've got to live that out. And this year, this year here in our area of responsibility, there will be a curriculum that comes forward that allows us to teach and train to the expectations of a chief, to teach and train the actual CPO creed so that we will be aligned together, in step together, making our way and leading our Navy forward. The Navy that our nation needs. So my most sincere hope for each and every one of us, my expectation and my encouragement to us all is to print out that CPO creed and renew our dedication to the creed, renew our dedication to the expectations of a chief. And then we live that out. Ensure that we hold one another accountable as well as we support one another in all of our efforts, especially when it comes down to rating competency, technical competency, and professionalism. And then, and then, if we apply 10 two letter words, 10 words that'll make us a better man, a better woman, certainly better leaders if we live them out. If we apply these 10 two letter words, then without question, not only will our magnetic north be set and calibrated as it should be, that is all of the chiefs looking uh, in the same direction, seeking after that same measure of excellence, will have an impact on the Navy, therefore our nation and the world. Those 10 words are, if it is to be, it is up to me.